So of course we are starting off raw and in the flesh. Y'all disregard this 4C hair. Of course, if you guys are new here, welcome. You guys will be along for this 4C ride. If you didn't know, I have been transitioning for about, I think about a year now, just from like, I've always been natural, but really just this heat free journey. So I have not done heat for the entire 2018. I think I've done like low blow drying heat situation like that. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna try to continue the same thing for 2020. Um, nevertheless, I do have my hair just kind of parted out. We're gonna be doing a ponytail and a bang, swoop bang. So you could definitely just part out a box um, of hair. I actually kind of left out a little bit too much. Right here, just in braiding my hair down, I could see the area where the new growth was and where the old heat damage was um, as well because it's kind of like a little thinner, not as thick. So that was an indication for me. I am gonna be taking some of the edge booster, uh, edge control. It doesn't really matter what color you use. Um, um, I have now, I think the pink, the teal, and the purple, they're all the same. <laughs> so I'm just using this to go all over my hair. My hair is washed and towel dried, so it's not even like fully dried at all. I did consider like blow drying this out. If that's something you want to do, you definitely can. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to go from, you know, thick, coarse hair to a nice, sleek, kind of like pulled up ponytail without having to use any hot tools. So, um, yeah, if you guys have already have your hair sleeked into a bun, you can definitely skip to probably about three minutes into this video just to kind of go a longer way. But I am going to be using um, the edge control to also kind of curve up my edges um, or I guess my baby hairs. <laughs> um, nevertheless, I do have a, a Denman brush to kind of just detangle everything along the way. I find that this really gets to like the root of my hair and really pull everything tight. It probably took me, not even gonna lie, like eight minutes to get my hair into a ponytail. Of course, it won't look like it in this video because I've cut those portions out, but my hands were tired. So let me show, a, show you a really quick um, tip to kind of like just get all your hair into a ponytail at once. So, what I did is I uh, used like a really large scrunchie just to go ahead and hold everything up while I continue to just like apply the product because as you guys know it can be tough applying products in the midst of just like trying to hold everything at once so that can be a lot um, and I I think that I mixed that with the cream of nature um, this is like the argan oil is it cream of nature no eco styler gel so the argan oil eco styler gel is what i use in combination i didn't use that until i got the ponytail as sleek as possible just to kind of seal everything um and lock it into place so definitely make sure not to use any type of gel because it's just going to further cause the hair to slick so go ahead and use that edge control it is wet so it will um dry in place and things like that so you'll kind of be able to maneuver it a lot easier so um yeah i don't know let me know how you feel about the edge control i know that you guys always like recommend different ones to me so if for this year you guys want me to try something new definitely let me know I just discovered this uh, I guess edge booster within the last maybe three months so so far so good so once you're having your hair in a ponytail go ahead and just kind of twist or braid this down I think I did a twist it looks like a twist just doing one large chunky twist I'm gonna be using my hair as like the base um, I guess of this bun just to give it a little bit more fullness and kind of you know, bulk in the top. So if you want yours to be smaller, more sleek, more of like a ninja bun, you could definitely make a smaller ponytail, but y'all saw my hair is so thick. Like at this point, I was just happy to have it in a ponytail, okay? So um, for the bang area, as you guys can see, I still just have that kind of parted off. We're gonna do this in sections. So once you go ahead and kind of take this out, Y'all will notice that I have not put any coconut oil or anything in my hair, which I usually do, um, just to kind of moisturize, but I wanted to make sure that everything was going to lay down. And so to be able to do that, you want to make sure that you have extremely clean hair. Because with edge control, the oil will mix and it will not do anything for your hair. So I've seen that happen. I've done it to myself and it's just like, no, it's a mess. So um, just to make sure that everything is slicked down, I'm parting the hair in between the areas that I want to lay um, and just kind of applying the edge control and then I'm taking a comb to really smooth everything down slowly so you really want to take your time with this I think in total it took me 38 minutes um, to do this full style which to me is not that bad because of course you still didn't have to use any hot tools and then from here um, you can actually allow your hair to continue like that drying process while you do your makeup and kind of put in your clothes and things like that so taking some of the gel just to kind of help smooth everything down um, and so you will see I guess the shine from the gel kind of show up there are going to be some little gap areas so you want to make sure that you are using a small tooth comb just to really, uh, I guess, kind of smooth the product throughout the hair so that everything is neat, neat, <laughs> I'm stuttering, neat and even all together. So, 
yeah, that is that on dad. Okay. Um, y'all, it kind of feels weird. I'm not even going to lie, like smoothing this, <laughs> all the products like near my forehead area. So definitely if you guys have sensitive skin, you want to keep that in mind. A swoop ponytail is not for everybody or the swoop bang because, of course, um, if you leave this on for, like, too long, you know, the product buildup, all that stuff, like, I don't want y'all breaking out. So this was something that I think I wore for two days and that was it. It was, like, a New Year's hairstyle and then I think I wore it the next day and that was just the end of that. So definitely want to make sure you wash out all this product and alcohol and stuff from your hair. So, uh, yeah. I guess it's safer than heat, right? I don't know. <laughs> but anywho, so I'm applying some of the gel towards the ends of my hair as well, just to make sure that everything is really sleek and kind of makes it easier to maneuver because without it, honestly, I don't think this style would have been possible. So this does take you a few minutes just to kind of really get everything styled into place. I did realize that I left out too much hair when I, I guess I kind of noticed the back of the, or I guess the area you see I'm kind of maneuvering right now. Um, it did make it really, really hard for everything just to be sleeked up into that ponytail. So that's when I noticed, like, eh, I think I left out just a little bit too much hair. But nevertheless, you guys can kind of decide what it is that you want to do with the bang from here. Um, if you want to swoop it up, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I'm going to swoop it because I want everything to look kind of, like, cohesive, I guess I should say. So yeah, so I just took the brush and everything is kind of just going upward and then this is what the hair looks like. So of course all the details will be listed down in my description box below. The hair didn't really smell like anything, kind of smelled like perfume a little bit. So I'm assuming they definitely washed the hair before they sent it to me and I could definitely tell that this was not processed hair. So it did look like it was like a normal texture. Um, I don't know. The wefts on this looks really, really good. Um, to me, I definitely want to see this hair probably in like a wig or some other form outside of the ponytail just because it was really, really soft and I like the way the waves look. So, um, definitely stay tuned for part two of the, um, I guess this review for this hair because I'll definitely be doing like another style or something like that just to kind of really show you what the hair looks like. If you guys missed it, of course, you guys have seen me do a ponytail a million and one times. So, um, yeah, I just kind of wrap that around using the track and I'm combing out all the hair and then I'm using a wide tooth comb just to back comb uh, this hair to kind of tease it up and make it as thick and kind of coarse looking as possible. So um, you can do this a little bit more if you want to, but my hair is not super duper like sleek. So you want to make sure that you try to match your texture as much as possible. And to do that, you want to kind of kink it out. So that's what I did in this case. And then I just kind of twisted it around itself and kind of played with it until I was happy with the way that the bun looked. This can take you literally like two minutes or 10 minutes. <laughs> so it's totally up to you. But just keep in mind, the more that you play with it, the more that you're going to hate your bun. So yeah, try not to do too much. And then of course, just use like, like some hairpins to kind of, you know, tease everything in place. I am using my bio soap just to add a little bit of shine. I don't know where my uh, cream of nature argan oil spray was, but that's usually what I use. You guys can see the sun's kind of peeking through. And then for this nape area, I did go ahead and just kind of clean that up a bit. And then lightly use a brush just to go ahead and kind of brush away um i guess any unneeded areas i'm just brushing up the hair and yeah that's pretty much that on that guys that was pretty easy you can definitely go ahead and tie your hair down from here if you want um but i did actually end up doing my makeup obviously i did not film that but this is the final look so i definitely hope you guys enjoyed it you'll definitely get some slow mos everything was locked in place my hair was completely dry by then and probably not in the middle like let's just be real but <laughs> everything else was locked into place i didn't have any flyaways i didn't have to worry about the nape of my neck kind of sticking out nothing so I'll be doing an updated video to let you guys know about the nape areas and other spots of my hair but I love you guys so much stay pretty and I will see you next time